Once you have the molar mass for a compound, whether that's a molecular compound or an ionic compound, the molar mass then, go ahead and say what the units of what are the units of molar mass? Grams per mole. The units tell you, like I said a minute ago, I think, what you can use it to go back and forth. If we want moles to cancel, okay, we can go from uh, moles to grams, okay, using it like this, all right. Or we can use the flipped version, and if we want grams to cancel, we can go from grams to moles using it this way. That's assuming um, over here, just to make sure we're all on the same page, that's assuming that you're converting moles to grams here and you're converting grams to moles there. I hope that makes sense. Um, so anyway, molar mass. Well, let's work a few problems. Um, in this particular problem, we are going from, so remember sometimes I diagram these, it says how many moles, so I'm going to put question mark moles on this side. Now remember, don't let the thing in brackets throw you off. That's not as important as moles, how many moles of molecules. I'm just going to, not going all the way to molecules, I'm just stopping at moles, is 1.28 grams of the compound CHCl3. Okay, so when we talked about atoms, we said if you ever have to go from grams to moles, you're going to use the mm, the molar mass for the elements. In this case, you're going to use the molar mass for the compound. So to me, I kind of think of this problem as a little bit two steps. First step, I need to calculate molar mass, molar mass of the compound, and then I need to use molar mass as conversion factor. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So the molar mass of the compound is calculated up here. So you look up the carbon, decimal number for carbon is 12.01, there's only one of them. The decimal number for hydrogen is 1.008, there's only one of them. The decimal number for chlorine is 35.45, and there are three of them. Okay, So remember I said you can kind of take this abbreviated approach, which is pretty good, a lot much better than an explicit approach. So rounding to two decimals, I get a molar mass of 119.37 grams per mole. Now if I was, um, say, new at this or if sometimes making an answer key, I would totally unpack that because you cannot use the G slash MOL in a problem. What that means is there is 119.37 grams in one mole for this, for this compound. Okay? So to me, when I, and I can flip it if I need to, but then I know where the units are and where the number 1 is and where the number 119.37 is. So we're going to use that as a conversion factor, and kind of like we did before, now we're going to go from grams to moles. And kind of like we did before, I would make my first term the mass that I want to convert. And now I want grams to cancel, be left with moles. Okay. So, of course, that looks like what I call the flipped version of the molar mass. Okay, there's your molar mass. Now, grams cancel, you're left with moles. So, is there any uncertainty? I feel like I'm back in Unit 1 again. Is there any uncertainty brought by the 1.28? Yes. Is there any uncertainty brought here by the 119.37, which is the grams per mole? Yes. How many sig figs do we need to round our answer to? And the answer is three sig figs, because we have three sig figs in our first term. So feel free to tap this in your calculator, and rounding to three sig figs, now remember how this works, is this number is a placeholder, I should say the zero, the zero is a placeholder, so it's not significant, the one and the seven are significant because they're non-zero digits, and the zero is significant because it's between two non-zero digits, so there is your three sig figs. Let's do, oh, I think that's where I, no, let's do one more, yeah. Okay, what is the mass of 0 .444, 4444 moles of methane? So again, if you're kind of into diagramming problems, okay, what is the mass, so question mark grams, 
of 144, excuse me, of 0.4444 moles of methane, CH4. So again, if you're going from, in this case, moles to grams or grams to moles, you're going to use the molar mass. In this case, it's got to be the molar mass of the compound. So the first stop is actually to come up with the molar mass of the compound, write it in grams per mole, and then use it as a conversion factor. So let's come up with the molar mass of methane. Oh, that rhymes. Well, it doesn't really rhyme, but it's something. So the molar mass of methane, you need to account for the carbon, and that's right here. The decimal number for carbon is 12.01, and there's only one of them. You need to account for the hydrogen. The decimal number for hydrogen is 1.008, and there are four of them. Round to two decimals, and I get 16.04 grams per mole. Again, I probably would write this like this, 16.04 grams per or over one mole. And the reason this is preferred is my next step is to use this as a conversion factor. So the what's the first term going to be? It's going to be 0.4444 moles of CH4 over 1. What does my next term look like? My next term is going to look like the, this with the molar mass. If I do it this way, notice that my moles cancel, and I'm left with units of grams, which is perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. So how many sig figs do I round this answer to? I round it to four sig figs, because we have four sig figs in the first term and four sig figs in the second term. They both bring uncertainty. So rounding to four sig figs, I get this. 7.128 grams, units are grams, that's what units are left, of CH4.